Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna talk about correcting the geometric uh, distortion in image. So now let's get started. We now come to methods of correcting any errors in geometry of a recorded image. This is a fairly a large uh, topic and it will occupy in the upcoming videos uh, using two different approaches. Both uh, methods for compensating or correcting geometric errors in uh, remote sensing imagery are used in the practice. The first involves setting a mathematical equation which describe the type of distortion and uh, then using uh, those equations uh, to correct the distortions. That can be a complicated process if uh, many different sources of distortions are of concern but uh, it is regularly uh, used, to, uh, used for a systematic correction uh, by satellite operators. It also depends on a good knowledge of the FRMS that is uh, that is the velocity position and uh, pointing with time of the platform the second method uh, accounts for all sources of distortions in a single operation it avoids the need to uh, model mathematically the various types of uh, distortion and uh, instead uses a, a mathematical uh, relationship between uh, where the pixels uh, appear in an image and uh, where they should uh, appear in a map this is a very common approach and uh, it has an added advantage uh, that the map basis uh, can be chosen according to the projection preferred by the user. We will illustrate the first approach by uh, using the error introduced into, the, into an image by the rotation of the earth during the image acquisition and uh, this slide shows, uh, shows the image lies down on a rect regular rectangular grid which is uh, known to be incorrect uh, geometrically and besides uh, it, uh, the version which has uh, been uh, compensated for this rotation so here in the left side of the left side image is geometrically in uh, error uh, compared to the right which has a compensation for the earth rotation to start the process of correction we need to define uh, two coordinate systems uh, one for the image as a recorded and uh, one for the corrected version the coordinate systems have their origins at the top because uh, the platform is uh, assumed to be moving down the page as it acquires its image. This is uh, equivalent to a, a satellite in a descending uh, node. We use the coordinates uh, U and V to uh, describe the recorded image uh, laid on uh, a regular grid and the coordinates uh, X and Y to describe the pixels uh, in their uh, correct positions with respect to the Earth's surface example uh, with respect to a chosen map grid so clearly uh, what we have to do now is uh, form a mathematical uh, relationship between the pairs of the coordinates we now uh, set up two equation uh, that describes the position of a pixel in in the correct coordinate system as a function of the position of the pixel as recorded note that the line coordinate v and y respectively does not change therefore we get the second uh, unchanged equation shown uh, at the bottom of the slide here so you can able to see from the equation here x is equal to u plus alpha v the column address of this pixel uh, needs to be adjusted by line and for uh, y equals to v there is no change required in the line address of the pixels let me repeat it once more time note that the line coordinates the v and uh, y respectively does not change uh, therefore we get the second uh, equation uh, unchanged uh, we get the second unchanged equation shown here that is y is equal to v however to compensate for the earth's rotation the coordinates across the scan line has to be uh, adjusted progressively to the west as we increment uh, down the lines of the image in other words, uh, as well uh, as being a function of u, the x uh, must also uh, be a function of v uh, representing uh, this shift. The coefficient uh, alpha uh, which uh, describes the degree of, uh, the degree of correction uh, to the west as the platform moves uh, southwards. And uh, it is uh, convenient to express the, the pair of, uh, this pair of equation uh, in uh, in a matrix form because uh, that helps uh, when we have to uh, make a several corrections so the value of alpha uh, depends on uh, 
the platform orbital properties uh, and uh, and the location at which the image was recorded if we examine the geometric characteristics of other distortion types it is uh, possible to set up uh, a similar equations uh, as shown on the slide the next step uh, step could be uh, to use use uh, these relationships to create a geometrically correct image that requires inverting them to root uh, u and v in terms of uh, x and y because the technique uh, we are going to uh, treat uh, in the next uh, video is so flexible uh, in terms of correcting uh, any types of uh, geometric distortion we will not proceed uh, any further with uh, mathematical modeling so using the set of equation uh, which can uh, describe the all uh, common types of uh, distortion types for example the effect of earth rotations are described using this matrix uh, equation and similarly the aspect ratio correction resulting from over or uh, under sampling across the scan line uh, can be uh, represented in this matrix equation and similarly the panoramic effects can be represented in this equation where the theta which is a comes uh, instantaneous scan angle and for image orientation from uh, north to south which can be represented in this uh, matrix equation where the phi here represents the rotation required in the anti clockwise direction so we have uh, only we have reviewed uh, the most uh, significant sources of uh, geometric distortions here so the key points covered in this video the distortions in image geometry can be corrected by establishing a mathematical relationship between the position of the pixel in the recorded data and the correct position relative to the landscape a separate relationship is needed for each distortion type uh, for example earth rotation panoramic effect earth curvature but uh, these corrections can be combined through a matrix uh, multiplication to produce a single correction formula and last the correction of geometric distortion can also be carried out by ignoring the precise correction formulas and uh, instead setting up a mathematical uh, relationship between the position of the pixel in the recorded image and their uh, position on uh, known map grid so in this video we have seen uh, correcting a geometric distortion in an image so in our next video we're going to focus on correcting uh, a geometric distortion using a mapping functions and control points so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like